Hello class 8. In the previous video, I have explained you the percentage and its application. And you all have done very well few questions which I have given you in the homework. Now, I am continuing the same chapter and same exercise and explaining few more questions of this exercise. See question number 13 in your book. The question says, Mr. Khanna spent... 83% of his salary and saved Rs. 1,870. Calculate his monthly salary. So, according to the question, if we see expenditure percentage is given 83% and saving is given Rs. 1,870. And we have to find out monthly salary of Mr. Khanna. Now, we will take let the monthly salary be Rs. X. Saving percentage as we know that expenditure percentage is 83%, therefore saving percentage will be equal to 100 minus 83%, which is equal to 17%. It means 17% is the saving percentage. And we have given the saving. So 17% of monthly salary, that is X, equals to 1870. 17% as we know that percentage can be written as in fractional form 17 upon 100 multiplied by off is changed into multiply in uh, and x equals to 1870. Now x will be equal to 1870. This 100 will go in the numerator and 17 go in the denominator. If we divide 1870 by 17 we get 110. And 110 multiplied by 100 is equals to rupees 1, 11,000. Sorry, 11,000. This is the monthly salary of Mr. Khanna. Now see question number 14. In a school, 38% of the students are girls. If the number of boys is, uh, sorry, 1023, that is 1,023, Find the total strength of the school. So here, percentage of girl, girls is given, that is 38%. So we can find out the percentage of boys, which is equals to 100 minus 38%, equals to 62%. Let the total strength be X. Then we know that the percentage of boys is 62% and number of boys is already given in the question. So 62% of total strength that is X equals to 1023. Now 62 and this percent uh, sign is changed into this 100. 62 upon 100 multiplied by X equals to 1023. And X will be equal to 1023 multiplied by 100. This 100 will go in the numerator and 62 will be in the denominator. When we cancel it by 2, 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 1 is a 2 and 100 when cancelled by 5 we get 50. And this third, if we divide this 1023 by 31 we get 33 and then 33 multiplied by 50 is equals to 1650. So this is the total strength of the class. I am explaining question number 17. Just see the question in your book. Out of 8000 candidates, 60% were boys. If 80% of the boys and 90% of the girls passed the exam, find the number of candidates who failed. Now see on the board. Total candidates is equals to 8000. Percentage of boys is equals to 60%. So we'll find out the number of boys first. Number of boys equals to 60 upon 100 multiplied by 8000. If we, if we can cancel these two zeros by these two zeros. So 60 multiplied by 80 is 4800. This is the number of boys in the examination who attended. Now number of girls equals to the total candidates minus the number of boys that is 8000 minus 4800 which is equals to 3200. According to the question percentage of boys failed. Percentage of boys passed is given there that is 80 percent. So percentage of boys failed will be equal to 100 minus 80 percent that is 20 percent. 
So 20% of the total boys are failed. So we can find out the number of boys who are failed. Number of boys failed equals to 20% of 4,800 because this is the total number of boys here. So 20 upon 100 multiplied by 4,800 equals to 960 because these two zeros are cancelled by these two zeros and if we multiply 20 by 48 we get 900, uh, 960. Now percentage of girls passed is given in the question that is 90%. So percentage of girls failed is equals to 100 minus 90% that is equals to 10%. Now, we can find out the number of girls who failed, that is 10% of total number of girls, that is 3200. So, 10 upon 100 multiplied by 3200. These two zeros are cancelled by these two zeros. If we multiply 32 by 10, we get 320. So, 320 girls are failed. Now, we have to find out in this question the number of candidates who failed. So, number of candidates who failed is equals to 960. This is the number of boys who are failed. And 3620 is the number of girls who failed. So, if we add this, we get 1280. So, total number of students who failed is 1280. This is the answer of this question. Question number 19 in your book. Pratibha reduced her weight by 15% if... Now she weighs 59.5 kg. What was her earlier weight? Now see on the board. Question number 19. Let the previous weight be x kg or the earlier weight be x kg. Since the weight is reduced by 15%, we get present weight equals to 1 minus 15% or we can write 15 upon 100 multiplied by previous weight. Now present weight is already given in the question that is 59.5 kg. So we will put this value over here. Equals to, I have taken 100 as the LCM. 100 into 1 equals to 100 minus 15 multiplied by previous weight. We have taken x. So we will put this value x over here. Now we know that 100 minus 15 is 85. So this 85 is, will come in the denominator with this number and multiplied by this 100 equals to x. Now if we solve it, we can remove this decimal and get one zero over here. One zero can be cancelled by one zero. 85 is divided by 5 because this 10 and 85 both are divisible by 5. So 85 divided by 5 is 17 and 10 divided by 5 is 2. And then we will divide this 595 by 17. 17 is are 51. 8 is left from here. 85. 17 is are 85. Now what is left? 35 multiplied by 2. So x will be equal to 35 to the 70 kg. It means the previous or the earlier weight of uh, girl is 70 kg. I hope you have understood all the questions which I explained on the board today and uh, hope that you will, uh, it will be easy for you to solve other questions of this exercise. If you are not understanding any question, just let me know. Then I will explain that question on the board. Thank you.